Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have discussed our academic issues uh, over four sessions, and now we get to talk about community outreach. I think it's very apropos that we left this session to the very end, but at the same time, I want to tell you how proud I am. We have a very rich session with four of the finest people probably CIUS could find, plus a commentator that comes out of the National Convention of Ukrainian Canadian Congress. I don't think we could have found a nicer community outreach panel than this one that I've been asked to chair. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let us begin with uh, a couple of just um, general remarks. First of all, I want to say that I was told by the organizers of this um, auspicious event that community outreach we can define in a very, very broad definition, but we could also make it as narrow as we wish, and it'll be up to each one of our uh, uh, um, guest speakers on the panel to do this. We want to work with community institutions to advance higher education. We want to discuss perhaps the whole issue of working to finding agencies, endowments, et cetera, that could continue the great work of uh, CIUS. We want to do the work of supporting Ukrainian studies through maybe some of our smaller community um, grants and scholarships and library funds. All of this will be part and parcel of this uh, panel on community outreach. So the questions I want to pose to you, everybody here on this panel has received four questions, but the two I'm going to give you so you can think through as we're going through these uh, various presentations, how can we improve community outreach and provide new incentives for our academic life across Canada? And number two, how do we provide further a new cooperation with the Ukrainian community and the community at large? We're going to give every one of our presenters 15 minutes each. At the end, our respondent, discussant, will have also 15 minutes. We're going to try to give everybody three minutes to speak, and then we're going to open it up to the community at large, and especially begin with those graduate students that are towards the back. And hopefully, we have to be finished this session by a quarter after five so we can have the conclusionary statement. And so let us begin. Again, with our program, all of the biographies of all the presenters are at the back, so I don't have to take any time to do this, but just let me give you a couple of little facts about each one of them. First of all, Andrew Hladyshevsky, an Edmonton lawyer, is going to speak to us on behalf of the Ukrainian Canadian Foundation of Tarashevchenko. This is the paramount foundation of the Ukrainian community in Canada. Andrew, proshu. <laughs> 